Okay, what's up y'all? Welcome back to all my subscribers and welcome for all of you checking me out for the first time. As you can see, I'm leaving this here uh, Chevrolet dealership, uh, but that's a topic for another day. Maybe in the channel update, I'm just going to say something rhymes with Evie Elvarado. Just going to give that little clue out there, but that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about these pantaloons. So, I made this video, uh, but the audio was crap and I didn't really like it and I had a bunch of distractions and things didn't go the way I wanted them to, so I'm doing it again. I normally don't do this, but today was a great opportunity, excuse me, probably get my yap hold together, to uh, test these pants out. Uh, I've had them for a few months and I wanted to do a follow-up review, review because I am a Michigan writer and of course we get hit with some cold weather every now and then in this great state of coldness. And uh, these pants held up to the test, right? So I normally don't write with the liner in. The liner is a waterproof liner, uh, not a windproof liner, but it does add some wind resistance because it is waterproof. Therefore, if water can't get through it, wind should not be able to get through it. The pants themselves already have pretty good wind resistance. If you haven't seen my first review on these pants, I'm gonna go ahead and plop the link up yonder. And you can check it out where I talked about all the um, benefits of these pants the features I guess as you could call them the material they're made out of and all that stuff so we're just gonna go back through that real quick without getting into further detail so the weather the waterproof liner uh, does help stave off the cold by proxy because the pants themselves are already pretty wind resistant when you add another barrier of wind resistance to it you can keep body heat in that isn't being wicked off by the cold air passing over your body I wore these pants in 42 degree weather it's chilly like it, it I, some people like it that cold not not this guy my limit is really around 50 now as I am getting older my tolerance for cold is like now nah, I used to ride in 40 degree weather all the time back when I first started riding no bueno now so without any other thermal pants no thermal underwear just regular old cotton undies these pants did pretty good after a while god dang it lady after a while the pants uh, did start to feel a little chilled uh, because the wind transfer was cooling off my outer pants which was slowly cooling off the liner which eventually made it to my legs because a lot of the air channels on this sport bike into the gym. Okay so obviously the camera died. I saw it. You saw it. Let's, 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 let's not dwell on that. I, I, sometimes my stuff just dies. They don't want to hear me yap. It is an internal struggle between me and my uh, various recording devices. So I think I was pretty much on the part of the pants where I was talking about how I was riding and the air was channeling into my legs, cooling off the man jibs. Um, but uh, unfortunately, my upper body got a lot colder before my lower body. And once I was cold, uh, trying to figure out where the pants came into play was a little distracting and I just had to just get out the cold, right? So. The pants themselves did a pretty good job, I assume, and I can only assume because I have not tried it yet, because if I have to put on my thermal pants with these, I, I, I'm probably not going to be riding out. The lowest temperature, like I said, I took them down to about 42 degrees with the wind chill, and they held up pretty good. It was bear bearable, sorry, excuse me, can't talk or breathe. And then uh, the wind chill uh, only started to gnaw at my legs just a smidge. Cause I could feel that cool sensation crawling over the pants and then for wicking the heat away from my body after a while there was not immediate it blocked the wind for quite a while it, they did a good job the material held up the liner holds up uh, rolled with them in the rain at least twice and without the water liner in I did not get very wet it was not a super hard rain but it was a pretty I don't want to say moderate it wasn't sprinkling it was raining and I, I, they did pretty good I'm worried about the pocket material um, they're fine now but over time the velcro material will start to wear down I'm sure because it's worn down on my gloves the uh, the latches the hook and loop type fastener which velcro is damn that sucks uh, eventually those either the the hooks the plastic hard part will start to stretch out or break or the loops the you know little I don't want to call it nappy, but this little part here on my wrist and or the soft part of the Velcro uh, duo will eventually start to break down. There will be no more loops for the hooks to hook into and then therefore the Velcro attachments will not work as effectively. Now I open these pockets like a thousand times. I'm always putting stuff in, I'm taking stuff out, putting the camera in, putting my 
wallet in and they've held up for about four and a half months I believe I've had these pants that long of abuse the cinch on the waist uh, I don't even know if I said this already but I'm gonna say it again if you do not have these big old birth and hips like I got the cinch on the waist is not that big a deal but if you cinch your pants down after you put them on taking them off is not a problem and getting them boys back on after you you know go drop a dooski or so might be a little bit of issue so you will wear down that velcro there uh, the pants themselves held up to a few washes they don't hold stains too bad I mean you spray anything with some spray and wash or some awesome or whatever gets the stains out but of course the rubber part on the my tank grips here uh, tends to wear down on the pants and even though I got this dark inner thigh area uh, there is a light area just above that and of course some of the the staining of the rubber will get onto the pants and it comes off pretty well in a cold wash I did follow the manufacturer's recommendations for washing as you try to do when you get anything new I hope you wash it as best you can and then after you know a while you just toss it in with whatever you want but I can tell you right now tell you right now don't toss these pants in with the good draws because they will rip your underwear to shreds the velcro parts of these pants especially around the ankles are exposed the hard part not the soft part so they've even stuck to themselves I pulled the pants out of the washing machine and the pants were stuck to the pants so the knees on this thing uh, I got a close-up video of it have a little bit of knurling to them a little bit of ratty edges they're not bad I can just snip them you know cut them down with like some uh, those lint ball things that you use on like wool sweaters or whatever I could just make it a little nice and neat or just a nice pair of little scissors or some nail clippers actually to be honest but that is something you have to be wary of so if you have to wash these pants you don't want to put them in there with anything fancy maybe some work clothes like lawn work clothes you're going out in the yard doing that kind of stuff but nothing fancy none of your cotton undies none of your fancy uh, lady unmentionables because you won't be able to mention how bad they got jacked up because of your, your riding pants the um reflective strip on these pants there are two of them I believe I can't remember yeah there's two of them and one of them on each pant leg came loose just loose I didn't beat them up against nothing they didn't look scratched or damaged they just looked like maybe the adhesive that kept them on just was pretty weak like I said I washed them as the manufacturer specified I took all the pads out uh, you know I put it in the temperature mild detergent whatever it said to do on the tag and then after, I don't know, two or three washes, little reflective strip just, boop, boop, goodbye, I don't want to be here anymore, I'm done. And I'm like, you know, these pants are not stupid expensive, but I mean, they cost a pretty penny, so I just want that quality issue maybe to be addressed. But other than that, uh, they are doing pretty well. So I don't know, like I said, <laughs> where my other video left off. I'm not even going to check. I'm just going to smash them together and hope it works out. But I do recommend these pants I uh, like them for riding in the summer I like them for riding in the cooler temperatures of the fall even right now it's a boot no oh, it's not even really cooler it's about 66 degrees out right now but that wind chill uh, I, f I feel nothing I am just right and tight I'm comfy right here in these pants no liner right now and uh, they're good to go in the summer of course like I said in my last video they do have vents on the sides the thigh and hmm, rear thigh area right above the cheek here you can get some airflow come straight through the pants cool off the old legs there yeah I think that's about it they are really boot friendly because I got these big old clogs on they go around the top of my boot no problem and then you can cinch them down if you want to to make them a little tighter the only thing like I said I do not do not enjoy is the velcro damage that stuff it, it, it gets a little randy it starts ripping up clothes that I don't want it to rip up so appreciate you guys watching hopefully I will have a channel update review on my channel itself and hopefully my battery will be charged appropriately the next time and uh, yeah I'm out oh yeah buy some stuff it's 360 pandering you know check out the what else Instagram you know all the YouTube niceties all that crap do that stuff click the like it's free click the thumbs up and uh, uh yeah I'm out.